Hey everybody, it's Nikki Lerner here. How are you today? Thanks for joining me today for a minute. You know, uh, some thoughts that I had today is there are some times where I have a really hard time just trying to focus on one thing and focus on something that's meaningful, particularly when it comes to my work. Um, oftentimes I don't ha really have this problem when it comes to my relationships or if I'm hanging out with somebody. I'm not that kind of person that like if we were going out to dinner that I'm always looking at my phone, checking stuff, you know, checking Instagram. That's just not me. But I found that I'm not naturally wired to just focus on a task, you know, focus all of my energies, um, my entire state all on one task. As I have grown and as I've matured, I found myself really needing this. I'm convinced, and I write this in my journal daily, that uh, focus is my superpower. When I can focus on something for an hour, um, sometimes depending on what it is an entire day, that the amount of purpose and meaning that comes, that goes into the work, but also out of the work is uh, just really phenomenal to me. Every day I feel like I have to fight for that. Uh, sometimes when I have these days, uh, I try to really dig into and get into why it is that I can't focus. Because I know that there's a reason. I know it's just not random. I don't, you know, I don't uh, blame it on just the way I'm wired, just because I can't do that or whatever. I don't do that. And this is one of those things that came out of my journal after uh, a day of really struggling to focus. And I thought maybe it would be beneficial for you. When I really dug down into uh, why I couldn't focus and, and why actually when I had you know, six or eight tasks to do or six or eight things to accomplish on a day, I couldn't get it accomplished. And then it dawned on me, that's the issue. I have six or eight tasks in a day that need my full attention. I'm talking about um, meaningful, work, finishing a book I'm writing, working on new songs, training for church leaders and worship leaders. I'm talking about a conference that I'm putting on. And the thing that I realized is, uh, well, actually a couple of things. Number one, I think it might've been Tim Ferriss who said, um, you know, if your focus is on everything, your focus is on nothing. I really needed to prioritize and ask myself the question, what is important today? There are some things that um, you have the energy to do today. Let me just say a ca caveat to that. The amateur does stuff when she feels like it. It's the professional who does things because it should be done. So even on the days that you don't feel like doing stuff, that's when the most meaningful work actually needs to get done. And what you're doing is just retreating and running away from it. The second thing is this actually, and this kind of surprised me if I'm honest, fear. For me personally, I, I realized that I had this fear of forgetting. Has this ever happened to you? A fear of forgetting, like if I don't look at everything and touch everything today, like this moment, that means that at some point I will actually forget about it. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Like if I don't do a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit there and a little bit there, that like the following day that I actually might forget about the task that I'm supposed to do. I'm not gonna forget it. It's written everywhere. Even when I'm not working on it, I'm thinking about it. This is the importance of digging into why you are feeling a certain way, why you have an emotion, why you are struggling with something, because I actually think it will tell you a lot about yourself, and then that way you can figure out a way to uh, to move forward and really address it. Here's what I wrote in my journal that I wanted to share with you uh, when you feel frustrated and when you feel like you can't focus. Trust that what is needed for the day will come. Trust that God wants you to succeed. Trust that my decision to focus on one or two things in a given day is always the most important discipline. Trust that things will not drop. Trust that to focus is not to waste time, but to capture time and utilize this beautiful resource to do the most meaningful and valuable work. Trust that you will feel so much more accomplished at the end of a day because you chose what is meaningful, not just urgent. Trust that busyness does not equal meaningful time spent. And then at the end of my journal, here's my journal right there, so you can see it. Focus is greater than fear. Um, hit me up in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Not only like, you know, have you dealt with this before? You know, tell me the tactics that you have used to help your own focus as you struggle with this too. Thanks for listening today. Tomorrow I have something else for you. I don't know what it is just yet, but it would definitely be something to add some value to your life. Thanks for watching. See you later.